Be veg, go green to save the planet. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nos programs offer in various idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Para mí es una moto va a firar el adidim en el lugar. Y os desearat suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. So we have to purify ourselves, really be sincere and humble at all times. Meditate whenever possible. It's good that you have job, very busy job, so your mind will not play tricks on you. <laughs> you have no time. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic. Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Mulibanji means how are you in Chichiwa, one of the official languages of Malawi. My name is Sylvia. The compassionate Malawi people appreciate your never-ending noble actions, contributing to a more peaceful world. In the southeastern region of the African continent is Malawi. This country is blessed with majestic mountain ranges, high plateau regions, large valleys and bodies of water like the vast Lake Malawi. Supporting a rich abundance of aquatic life, Lake Malawi is home to the world-famous cichlid, a beautiful fish that appears in a dazzling array of colors. Malawi's second largest lake, Lake Chilwa, is a designated UNESCO wetland. This area nourishes more than 1.5 million birds, representing some of the world's most diverse avian species. Among Malawi's nine other national parks and reserves is Majete Wildlife Reserve. Thanks to Malawians' diligent efforts, today's Majete has a thriving animal and bird population. It is home to the rare black rhino, as well as lions, elephants, zebras, and hippos. Nicknamed the warm heart of Africa, due to its kind and genuine people, Malawi's vibrant culture includes joyful daily singing among village women, as well as more formalized traditional music and dance. The country is also host to Lake of Stars, one of the largest music festivals in Africa, held each year on the shores of Lake Malawi. We were pleased to share glimpses of scenic Malawi with you, beautiful viewers. We wish you meaningful and blissful lives. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover 
the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another conference on Friday, March 26, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom answering some questions the members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled The Phoenix Part 6 of 13 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March 26, 2021. Okay, ask another question, please. The next question is about the UFOs, Master. UFO, okay. Yeah. Uh, Master, recently a British newspaper published that the Pentagon has admitted to holding and testing anomalous debris from UFOs. Mm -hmm. A researcher says that the documents reveal some of the retrieved debris possess extraordinary capabilities, mm. including the potential to make things invisible yes. or even slow down the speed of light. Uh -huh. including another interesting report on a mysterious memory metal mm -hmm. called nitinol, mm -hmm. which remembers its original shape when it's folded. Oh, okay. How does it remember? Uh, it's uh -huh. a mysterious memory metal. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so, Master, does this outstanding admission by such a government department uh, as the Pentagon mm. have some deeper meaning behind it? And could it uh, signify a new stage for Earthlings Open-mindedness? Yeah. <laughs> it's about time they admit something. Yes, ma'am. Not much anyway. Never mind. Whatever unfolds, you will see. Yes, yes, I am no, uh, I'm no psychic. <laughs> I'm no clairvoyant, whatever you want me to do, or hula hula, hop, this uh, fortune teller stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Whatever the government doesn't want you to know, you better leave it as is. Okay. Yes. Or we might get into trouble. It's not our field. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unless it hurts somebody, then I will be fearless. Whatever toys they find or <laughs> develop, we'll let them play with it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they knew this long ago already. Yeah, not just now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess they have been pressured to release something. Otherwise, it will boil it over. Huh? Yes. 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 Some people can already make themselves invisible or transport themselves somewhere else. Wow. Oh, wow. Teletransporting. Oh. Because teletransporting. But uh, we don't need that. We take a bus. It's quick. <laughs> <laughs> Airplane, okay? Yes, 
We don't need much else, actually. We need to fly to heaven. That's all we need. Yes. 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 And that's what you're doing every day and helping others to do the same. Okay? Yes. 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 All right. That's it. Because wherever you go in this world, you are still here. Hmm? Visible or not, flying or walking, you're still in this prison. Yes. Yes. No big deal. Huh? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Even if you go to Mars, you're still in the shadow illusionary world. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Only some people awaken and realize that we are not real. Then they're seeking master and they're seeking method to liberate themselves from this big dream. Huh? Hallucination. Dream. Yes. Yes, then, then that's where we join in the rest. Oh, I don't care. My God. Even if you can fly in the air, of course it's useful sometimes when you are in emergency, right? If you are in life and death situation. Like I have been sometimes, I wish I could yeah, use that. But otherwise, uh, where are you flying on this planet anyway, right? right. Yes. The max is you go to New York, or then you go to London, you go to Paris, and then what? <laughs> 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 Sit there, drink a coffee, yeah? <laughs> and take an aeroplane, can also do the same. Hmm? Long time ago, the Buddha wanted to cross a river. And there was no boat uh, at that time, so he was waiting. And there was a man, uh, a yogi, who showed up. He walked across the river in front of the Buddha to mock him, saying that he is a world honor one and could not even walk on the water to go over the other side you know, of the bank. So the Buddha uh, asked him, how long did you practice until you could do that? He said about 25 or 30 years, something like that, decades anyway. He said, oh, I just paid 20 pennies and I can go across. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yes. Instead of practicing 20 years, he paid 20, 20 cents. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so, is that okay for your UFO question? Yes, Master. You still want to fly somewhere or disappear or something? You can't disappear. You have to work. <laughs> Otherwise, the world will disappear. Don't wait for that. Yes, master. Yes, master. And then we all will disappear. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes. All right. Even if we disappear, I would like this planet to be a better place, to let the animals free, to let the poor bystanders be free of fear and bombing and amputating and mental disturbing and peace. Ruining all that. Yes. yes, Master. Even if you go into a house as a guest, you leave it clean and nice before you leave. Yes. 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 Our respect, our gratefulness. Same, we are guests here on this planet and we mess it all up for everybody. It's not nice. Yes, yes Master. The Muslims say that God says be a good guest on earth and we are not a good guest at all. We are terrible. We are terrifying everybody on this planet. All the guests and the host and whomever we can. That's that's not nice. That's not gentle. Okay, next question, if you're done. Yes, sir. Thank you, Master. In a recent flight news, Master mentioned that she was uh, trying hard to negotiate with heaven. Master, may we know how the negotiation is going? Do we have a fixed period of time to fulfill the condition uh, heaven is demanding? Oh, man. Go ask God. <laughs> <laughs> you ask the humans and they will answer you. I, I can't control their mind. I can't tell them what to do. Negotiate is one thing. Humans' cooperation is another thing. Do you understand me? Yes. yes. They just do not cooperate. That is a problem. Yes. Yeah. yes. Some do, but very slow and very little. Okay. So it's the it's the negotiation negotiation is also slow and little. Yes. yes. Except that uh, we can stop many deaths and many sufferings. Yes. yes. A lot, millions, millions of deaths, millions of sufferings. That's all we can do. But further than that, the humans have to show some goodwill, okay? Yes. yes. Because they, they have been taught right from wrong for millennia already. Yes, yes. yes Master. For eons of time already. 
by many masters. Yeah, much blood of the master, saying and says, has been shed for them. And if they don't wake up and they don't want to do the right thing, or even if you call that a sacrifice, and not to kill animals anymore, not to hurt anyone anymore, even if you call that a sacrifice, then you should do it for others, for your children. But it's not a sacrifice. It's just the right way to do things. It's, it's not right to hurt anyone, especially the animals. They're helpless, okay? They're innocent. They're so sweet. And they protect you no end. And they bless you no end. My God, every day the animals come and tell me this and that. Because there are some places I cannot stay. I had to leave. Mm. Yeah. Due to some, you know, disciples, because they're low level and they're clinging, they send their low energy and make trouble for me and make me sick and all that. Because we have the connection. Yes, the outsiders so. can also make me trouble. But it's not their intention. The disciples do it, some with intention. Because of low level thinking, because of selfishness. Yes, yes, and all the animals come and tell me, oh, don't go in there, don't go in here, don't stay here, don't do this, don't do that. Because your peace will be disturbed, you will be not well. Of course I know that, but sometimes I'm just too tired to keep moving. Eh? Mm. I did move eventually because, ah, oh, but I cannot not move. Yes, yes, Master. Therefore, uh, these two weeks I didn't talk to you, eh? Is it two weeks already or more? Yeah, about two, two weeks, Master. Last time we talked is the 10th, right? 10th of March, right? Yes. yes. What is today? 26th. 26th. Oh, so that's more than two weeks, eh? Yes. yes. Okay. I wanted to do it earlier, but I was so tired and then moving. Every time I move, because I'm alone, I have to rearrange things for myself, yeah? Yes. To make it more convenient and comfortable for me to work. And just just convenient, yeah? Just to survive on, to live on in peace. So it takes some time to be alone. You know, when you go somewhere when there's nothing there for you, you have to do this, do that, yeah? Yes. Just like even every time conference with you, I have to arrange things. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so every time I talk to you, I have to rearrange everything, and later I have to rearrange it again. <laughs> because the computer where I work is not the computer where I'm talking to you. Yeah? Uh, yes. It has to be different angle and different corner of the house. Yes. Yes. You, all of the disciples, should worry about meditation purifying yourself so that you can be higher in consciousness. Otherwise, even if you want to help the world, you cannot. It's just more mess. Other people don't know anything about God. Just like your hand. If your hand is muddy, dirty, whatever you touch, it becomes dirty. 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 Yes. Even if you want to clean the computer, the computer becomes dirty. 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 Like that. So important is to make ourselves pure and clean. Yeah, and kind inside. The anything else, whatever we can help, we do. But if we are ourselves are um, a mess, we cannot do much. Yes. It's like a mentally incapable person, he cannot help a sane person, even if he wants to. Yes. Yes. He will know how. Huh? Yeah. Or his concept about helping is different from the way he should do. Yes. Similar. So we have to purify ourselves really. Be sincere and humble at all times. Meditate whenever possible. It's good that you have job, very busy job, so your mind will not play tricks on you. <laughs> you have no time. Yes, Master. Yeah, because uh, we say that um, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Yes. yes. It is like that. It is like that. Thus, maybe that's also another reason that the Buddhist monks and nuns are so busy studying all the Buddha's teaching, because the Buddha preached about maybe until 80 years, yes. Yes, master. many, many decades, a lot of sutra for them to study. And they believe in the sutra, in the holy books of the Buddhist teaching. So they all learn, you know, learn or go find a higher monk to learn. 
and uh, study all that and try to think of what's the meaning or reciting every day until they know by heart. Some you have to know by heart. There's some some rituals you have to know what to do. Yeah. So they're busy all the time. So the evil has no time to mess up their minds. Mm. I don't know if the Christian priests are that busy or not. Have only one Bible to study. So maybe uh, too much uh, free time, yeah? Too much uh, prestige and privilege. Too much uh, respect from followers. Too much support. And too much time. Yeah? Too much freedom. Yes, Master. And uh, it's too free. Too free. Eat anything, drink anything, you do anything. That is not uh, very good for monkhood. I'm thinking my uh, humble opinion. Okay? My humble opinion. Yes. Yes, yes, master. yes, master. yes. Lively viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode, entitled The Phoenix Part 6 of 13, On Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Humanity's Leap to the Golden Era, Washington, D.C. Climate Change Conference, Part 10 of 17, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you be blessed by the divine power. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD. Be vegan, repentant, save your soul.